Crews are now in day three of their efforts to stop a wildfire near Black Mountain. News 13's Lauren Brigman joins us live from the command post at Ridgecrest Conference Center. And Lauren, officials actually took you to the fire line. We just got back moments ago, Holly. A North Carolina Forest Service ranger escorted us from here at the command post at Ridgecrest up to the eastern edge of the fire line. Now, on the ride up, we'll show you video of what that was like. We rode from Ridgecrest to the area where McDowell County meets Buncombe. You can see the evidence along the side of the road. Smoke visible as smoldering continues. Forest Service officials say they feel more comfortable with their ability to keep this wildfire inside the established lines. Now, as far as the containment number, officials say that's still 25 percent updated yesterday afternoon, late last night. But they add this will likely change for the positive when an update is released this afternoon. With weather in their favor today, the hope is burning will be suppressed, but the end is not yet in sight for crews. If we get sun a couple days from now, then some of these places might actually come back to life a little more again. So it's going to take some time to, to call this. Uh, to, to be comfortable with leaving this fire. The focus today is maintaining the established fire lines. The good news is crews say the fire is not moving outside of that perimeter. In total, almost 600 acres have burned. Now, overnight, 77 personnel with the North Carolina and U.S. Forest Service were on scene. The additional manpower allowed for some of our local fire crews to be relieved. Now, back out here at the command post at Ridgecrest Conference Center, you can see the American Red Cross in the distance. They have actually been on site since this fire broke out on Tuesday. So still a lot of manpower in the area, but some crews are being relieved as they continue to get this wildfire under control. Reporting live in Buncombe County, Lauren Brigman, News 13. A wildfire near Black Mountain continues to burn, but officials say progress is being made again. News 13's Lauren Brigman joins us live from the command post at Ridgecrest Conference Center. And Lauren, officials actually gave you a very up-close look at the situation. That's right, Holly. We left out from right here at the command post. We were escorted by a North Carolina Forest Service Ranger up to where crews are working. Still one area on the eastern end of the fire line. Now, seconds before coming back on air here at 1230, I was giving a very important update from Forest Service officials, North Carolina Forest Service officials. They tell me this wildfire here is now 84 percent contained. As far as the total number of acres burned, 753 acres. So these are a big jump in numbers as far as from when we were last updated yesterday afternoon. Now let's show you that video of our ride up the mountain here. On the ride up from Ridgecrest to the area where McDowell County meets Buncombe, you can see the evidence along the side of the road. Smoke visible as smoldering continues. Forest Service officials say they definitely feel more comfortable with their ability to keep this wildfire inside those established lines. Now, the cause of the fire has not been pinpointed just yet, but Forest Service officials say it serves as a reminder for us all when it comes to safety practices. The, the cause is still under investigation, but uh, regardless, uh, human caused fires are, are the most common here in North Carolina. Uh, and, and we need to be very careful and mindful of the days when we burn brush or uh, put ashes out from our wood stoves, that sort of a thing, to make sure that we're not causing any kind of fire like this. Now, the focus today, of course, is maintaining the established fire lines. The good news is officials say the fire is not moving outside of those lines and no structures are in danger. As we reported earlier, six structures were damaged, one destroyed by this fire. It was a mobile home in total. Um, a little bit more than 750 acres have been have burned. Now, overnight, 77 personnel with the North Carolina and U.S. Forest Service were on scene here. That additional manpower allowed for some of our local fire crews to be relieved back out here at the command center. Still a very active scene onto the third day now of this um, effort to fight the wildfire. We have the Red Cross back here providing assistance, and they have been here since this began Tuesday afternoon. Again, a major update coming here at 1230. This wildfire is now 84% contained. That's a big jump from what we were seeing yesterday with the report of 25%. Reporting live in Buncombe County, Lauren Brigman, News 13.